Well, it's time to head back to school and students and teachers in Bacon County getting ready for that first day on August 1st. Our Anna Stansfield sat down with Bacon County Superintendent to make sure parents and their children are prepared as they head back to school this year. Every year I get so excited to see the students and their faces and the anticipation about the new school year. This year, students might be seeing a few new faces around campus. I have a new principal at our high school. I have a new principal at my primary school. And I have three new assistant principals. And that's not all that's new for Bacon County this year. We have eight new school buses that will be in our fleet this year, and I know parents will be thrilled about that. Their children will be thrilled about that, being able to get on a new bus. Superintendent Roland says although there's new buses, most bus routes won't be changing. We try to stay the same here because, like you said, we have all of our parents work, the majority of our parents work, and we really try to make sure that we cater to our parents. The county also trying to save some financial stress from parents. We have purchased school supplies for all of our students for the second year in the row, so parents do not have to worry about anything as far as supplies. Roland says she's looking forward to seeing students in Bacon County continue learning. This is my seventh year superintendent here, and I'm super thrilled to see our county continue to grow academically. We've really grown over the past five years, so I'm thrilled to see that continue. Reporting in Bacon County, Anna Stansfield, WTOC News.